welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alexa Ray. And welcome to a weekend of my life. I thought it'd be fun to pick up my camera and vlog a little bit this weekend because I haven't vlogged and I don't even know how long. So I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me this weekend. We just found out a little bit ago that there's like an art festival going on this weekend and there's like all this fun stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys with us. We're gonna have a fun summery weekend. It's supposed to be beautiful out. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. It stays beautiful because in New York weather, guys, it will say it's supposed to be like 75 and sunny and we'll walk outside it'll be downpouring so hopefully that doesn't happen today is friday it's like around 3 p.m kind of just hanging out relaxing right now arguing again arguing about something so simple make it clear tell me why you're running back to him feeling insecure feeling like there's more to your character every tear that you cry is worth it in the end but baby tell me how have you not figured it I feel like it wouldn't be a video on my channel if we didn't talk about books And so I wanted to share with you guys the three books that like I read this week so good So so good. I did a huge reading vlog with all three books. So stay tuned for that But I just want to share them with you The first one I read is the Hawthorne legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. If you're not familiar This is book two in the inheritance game series My whole life revolves around this series currently because I am just obsessed with it book three is set to come out in August It's the final Final Gambit and I cannot, cannot wait for that book. I just feel like in book three, I feel like there's gonna be a huge twist in book three with the love triangle going on. I can just feel it. Anyways, I read this book this past week and obviously it was amazing. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait for book three. Also, I just really love the covers of these books. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love the details. I love like the bold coloring of the book. After that one, I picked up Archer's Voice by Nia Sheridan. <gasps> I don't think I will ever recover from this book. That's how good it was. You ever read a book and you basically put yourself in that universe and then when you're done reading it, you like don't know who you are and you don't know how to return to normal life. That's how I felt when I read this book. It's supposed to be like the big romance to be reading at the moment. One of my favorite romances, honestly, probably in like the top three books. I'm obsessed with this. If you haven't read this yet and you're looking for a good romance, Guys, it's so good. Definitely tugs at your heart and it rips your heart out, puts it back together, rips it out again. It's just crazy. It's like a huge roller coaster. And then after this, I picked up Kisses and Croissants by Anne Sophie Johanna. This is just like a cutie little book. It takes place in France and it's just like a French love story, basically. If you're familiar with Anna and the French Kiss, it kind of gives me the same vibe as that story. I also love how cute and simple this cover is. It's adorable. These are the three books that I worked on this past week. They are all so amazing. Stay tuned for the reading vlog that's coming with these. Chris is on his way home now. It's absolutely gorgeous out, so I'm hoping we get to spend some time outside, get some sun. Going to a baseball game. I know, I'm excited for baseball dogs. It's safe for baseball winners. <laughs> I for the baseball winners. Just here for the, the hot dogs, box. the drinks, the nachos, the jalapenos. You and 
got home a little bit ago from the baseball game. We had a fun time. There's fireworks at the end. It was so fun. Now we're just hanging out, making snacky snacks and watching TV. We're gonna play some video games. This is our Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Saturday, everybody. We are getting a little bit of a late start to the day because we stayed up until like 2 a.m. watching Disney movies. Yes, we did. But it's beautiful outside. We're gonna have a really fun day. We're actually getting ready to go to the art festival. Do a quick like fit check. Well, my dress is from Forever 21. It's pretty old. And then I'm wearing these cutie shoes from Target. And then my sunnies are from Urban. I just like love this look for us. But we are gonna head out. It's gorgeous out. The sun is beaming. We're gonna have a beautiful day. Apple, what is it called? An apple, apple, apple strudel. I got a raspberry Napoleon and then this delicious ice cap. Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave our apartment really quick. I think I'm gonna change out of my heels because my feet are starting to hurt, of course. Poor choice on my part. And then we're gonna head back to the art festival and maybe meet up with some of our friends. It's so gorgeous out. I feel like this is the first super, super nice day that we've had, like so far this summer, so. Okay guys, so we just finished taking a like a little break. So I did an outfit change. This dress is from Arrow. Um, I have these cute little gladiator sandals. I have my Lulu bag, little round sunglasses. Totally different vibe than what I was wearing, but way more comfortable because the heels were literally digging into the sides of my feet and it just, I couldn't. We're gonna head back out, hopefully grab some food. I'm kind of getting hungry again and then maybe meet up with our friends. Sunday everybody it's Sunday already I feel like the weekend always flies by so fast yesterday we went to the art festival and we had like a super fun day walking around and then we actually wound up going out to get tacos afterwards at Lloyd's which was so good we watched Star Wars and played games and just kind of hung out for the night today is Sunday we are actually gonna go to the art festival again walk around maybe meet up with some friends eat some yummy food it's a really gloomy day which sucks but at the same time it might be nice because we won't have the Sun beating down on us all day so we're gonna go walk around the art festival and see if we can find anything usually there's like pet vendors at the art festival I couldn't find any yesterday so I'm gonna try and find some if there are some and then afterwards we are actually actually doing something really fun tonight we're gonna be going to the zoo tonight and they're doing like this huge light lantern festival i'm really excited we're gonna have a fun sunday i'll give you a little outfit of the day i'm just wearing my niagara falls crew neck my white lulu bag i have like a claw clip here just in case i want to put my hair up i'm wearing some ripped jeans from h&m because they're like my favorite jeans ever Nike Air Force Ones. Of course, because they're so comfortable. Yesterday I wore heels and then I wore gladiator sandals and my feet hurt so freaking bad. So I'm definitely going for a comfy, cozier look today. I'm so excited for today, guys. We're gonna have such a great day.
slash like big light festival. <laughs> hey, I bring the bottle tonight. Red wine to rewind all our memories, right? It's just a matter of time before your cheeks turn into peaches and the stars realize. Another glass of wine, I'll find the diamonds in your eyes, darling. Another glass of wine, you know it's time. Three, two, one. We're kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed, and now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck. Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies, you got me running circles the side of my head. Now we're doing everything that I wish you had said. Another glass won't kill you, right? We're kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies You got me running circles the side of my head Now we're doing everything that I wish you had said